and evening folks sorry I took the day off I'm tired okay between taking care of my mom and a few other things and try to get Swiss chard and beans out because I use a soil soil thermometer have to watch the speech impediment okay the big problem with my soil is it's still hovering around from 30 to 39 degrees at night okay it's getting better in the daytime the hours are longer and the temperature is going up but it still fluctuates we don't have enough rain for the mountains for snow which screws everything up we having a constant drift we had a light snowpack over here more towards the western region the weather is getting milder other parts of the united states Winter is in the death grip. And I know certain states, you're going to really feel it. Now, I tell people in the south and the central states near the uh, Great Lakes, be very careful. All right? Because we're arguing, my, me and my friends, and I say, it's going to be a small polar vortex. My other friend says it's going to go down all the way to Mexico City. And we're kind of flip-flopping because there's other things coming around to being in effect. So I'm having a Japanese-style dinner, steamed rice. I'm doing tepan cooking. That's iron cooking. Basically, it's kind of a uh, mushrooms, onions, peppers, uh, flank steak, and bacon, all mixed together with the sauce, cooked on an iron pan. Now, I won't eat in front because I have certain issues and you don't want to see me vomit onto the screen. That's always nice. And right here, sesame salt and greens that I've been pickling for a week and salt solution so that comes out as a nice pickled vegetable okay now a lot of people were asking me certain questions and i told you told you since march 8th the ukraine has to surrender okay everybody the media is off their rocker don't trust it okay there have been atrocities committed on both sides and I've been looking around and I've been checking on Google, Bing, and a few other weather site maps because there's 40 satellites hovering over the Ukraine going around and around the world. But a lot of people don't know that a lot of Ukrainian units can't shoot straight. Okay, so please don't get caught up in the hype. The hype's been heavy on both sides. And two, right now, Asia is leaning towards Russia. They're getting fed up with China and U.S. buddy, buddy. You know, and the U.S. Air Force and the Marines are kind of nervous out there because somebody in the Pentagon's been buddy, buddy with CCP. And it's the, uh, well, it's the guys with the big boats and the guys who are ground pounders. Okay? Air Force and Marines are going to get screwed. Big time. And also the Far Eastern Command under certain outfits are going to get screwed. And a lot of people say, how do you know this? Well, you can do your own research and check it out. All right? A lot of the ships that are heading towards the East Coast, or like California, 29 ports, are diverting to Mexico. They had it. They're going to Central America and Mexico and go through there. And they told everybody else, well, I can't say those words because I'm only 600 or 400 away from getting remonetized again. Lord, I hate days like this. Also... I have to warn people. I'm trying to eat my dinner and watch other more Japanese stuff and stuff. They're going to purge. Okay? You got to be really careful, folks. 
they're hitting America uncensored really hard, China uncensored, other groups that disagree or tell the truth or anything like that, they're getting hit left to right. All right, take a look at Bushcraft family. He got clobbered. All right, a lot of these problems, if you're looking at YouTube, it's not in America. It's an international company run by Google out of Shanghai. Does that make you feel better? No, it doesn't make anybody feel better. So you have to watch what you're saying. Because I know a few people, if you say simple, you know, words, you know, the cancellation police is out. They just fired a teacher. It says a word, and it was a four-letter word. It's not that kind of four-letter word. The male cow. And he got fired. They didn't like it. Okay? Does that sound like 1984? New think, new speech. Hmm? Think about it, folks. Okay? I tell everybody, go watch The Prisoner. It's an old, classic old, on Tubi, T-U-B-I. It's a classical show. Watch it, slow it down, put up the subtitles, and take notes. Doesn't that sound like Disneyland? Doesn't it sound like, hmm... It could be the way you program people, okay? NWO or CCP. And remember, next word we're going to discuss after I do a few other things is going to be the second one. The first one's winding down. I give it about another month or so, and it's winding down. Number two is coming up. Number three is coming up. Number four is coming up. And finally, number five. Each of them going to be worse and worse and worse. Okay, it came close to nuclear war with this one. Maybe number two is the one that ends all life on Earth. So think about that, folks. While well, I enjoy my dinner, I'll catch you later. Next video, we're going to talk about PDWs of the Soviets. I'm not the Soviets. I gotta say, stop Soviets, the Russian Federation. See you later, folks. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye.